What's going on guys and welcome back. Today we'll build this hover animation. Um, I recently saw it on Dribble and I just went ahead and recreated it right on CodePen. Um, so this is the animation we're doing. It's like um, th we have this three, uh, these three boxes and there's this arrow that kind of expands and then there's the second one and the arrow itself is also animated. Um, yeah, normally I'd built the whole thing in Atom, but I just went ahead and did it right in CodePen. I think we can check it out on here directly. So, uh, this is the animation. I think it turned out quite nicely. It's actually pretty close to the original one, I'd say. And yeah, let's just uh, take a look at that. Um, editors view is what we want. Alright. Um, I think I'll just walk you guys through the markup and uh, through the SAS as well, and then we'll rewrite these animations together, I think. So for now, I'll just whoops that didn't work let's just take them out for now and let's just concentrate on the markup for a second so basically we've got this wrapper and then we have a service wrapper another service wrapper and the third service wrapper I'll just show you guys and um, give me a second in sketch let's see if I can show that to you guys so that is the wrapper that is oh no guys this is um, well what's that <laughs> let's do that again so that's basically our window um, need to select the pencil again this right here, whoops, <laughs> would be uh, the wrapper, and these three columns are our service wrapper. Um, so service wrapper, service wrapper, service wrapper, and then so that's wrapper, service wrapper, and then we've got another kind of wrapper which holds the um, heading for all of these, like a sell your service, uh, sell your device, not sell your service, uh, repair and exchange those are H3's, then we have an SVG which is the arrow, I created that one in sketch and then we have one circle and another circle um, one of uh, which is like the one that's being animated as the background color as you can see and the other one is this smaller one um, and that's all within the wrapper, that means we have this wrapper, then the title, and then like two circles and the arrow inside of that. <laughs> and um, then just a paragraph uh, down there, which would basically be there. And the same thing for all of them, basically. So another service wrapper, another wrapper for like the top part. And um, then the paragraph and same thing goes for the last one of course um, yeah I don't know if that helped you guys but whatever <laughs> um, then uh, we'll get to the CSS or the SAS um, I set margin 0, padding 0 and box sizing for every element uh, which is box sizing border box then I went ahead and gave the body 100 viewport width and viewport height units. It's display flex, justify content center and align item center. That's so the wrapper, uh, so this element basically, which holds all of the uh, all of the three services, is centered within our window, as you can see. Um, so that's it for the body. Then the wrapper itself is display flex as well and flex direction row because we want those three uh, service wrappers to be in a row, not in a column. Yeah, the background is simply gray. Actually, we don't need a background for the wrapper. Um, 
the height is set to 300 width of 80 percent and um, justify content is space between uh, actually I also don't think that we need that one anymore yep correct and then the service wrapper the themselves they have a background color they have a flex of one which means uh, each of them gets flex one each of these service wrappers that means they share the space equally so these uh, 80% are always shared between them. Uh, then justify content space between yeah that affects the content of them of course and flex direction column for them because we want uh, like this wrapper and this paragraph to be below each other. Um, then I also went ahead and gave the whole thing a padding of 50 pixels so the padding around this service wrapper. Um, so what you can see here with the paragraph, this part, this part and this part as well. So we have equal padding right there. Overflow is hidden. Um, that's for the animation because one of these circle expands, actually both of them expand um, out of the service wrapper itself so it has to be hidden. Um, cursor set to pointer, well yeah. Uh, transition that's for the text as you can see that still works um, it has to be white because the background is going to take up this color um, and that's what I did right there on hover they'll change their color to white then the div um, that's basically the div inside the service wrapper which is this one so this part right there um, that one got display flex justify content space between so uh, like the h3 is on the left side and the rest is on the right side or rather like yeah basically like that um, no actually not space between would just uh, space them out equally but I positioned uh, the SVG and stuff myself I think differently um, then the H3 has a Z index of 1 and the P has Z index of 1 as well. That's so the background does not get, um, does not cover the two. And the paragraph has a simple line height. That's it. Uh, the arrow I set, uh, the arrow, oh actually the arrow, that's kind of confusing. That's the div, that's the bigger div. So that's the div that expands as the background color. Then we have the arrow small, which is the smaller circle. And the SVG is the actual arrow. That's kind of dumb naming, I know, but... <laughs> and um, yeah, that arrow, which is the this circle, basically, that which you can see right now. Uh, it has height and width set to 40 pixels and border radius. Then arrow 1, 2, 3. Um, yeah, those are the small circles which expand as a background color and I gave them ID so I could um, set their background color and also set them to position uh, position absolute and right zero so they are positioned to the right side of this wrapper and that's kind of unnecessary because I could just put these two properties right in there and get rid of them in those three places. That's a bit better. Wait, what? Why does that not work? Huh. Arrow. Okay, whatever. Then we'll just leave it like that. <laughs> Probably had my reasons. <laughs> and then we have got arrow small, that's this div right there. Also has the same dimensions, so it's covered by uh, the other circle. Same border radius, it's round and Z index of 10. Uh, I set it to 10 so it's um, 
on on top of uh, the background circle basically and then we have arrow one two three small which um, have like these faded green orange and blue colors set and um, the SVG finally has position absolute the index 1000 so it's on top of everything and uh, right 12 pixels so it's centered inside the circle right uh, I don't know guys just let me know if you didn't enjoy me going through the CSS and would prefer me just writing it um, I can do that next time of course um, this way it's definitely quicker Alright, so for the JavaScript, we'll first start out by um, animating the background circle. So, service uh, background animation. And we'll need to select um, the service wrappers. So, these ones, um, because we want to trigger the animation when we enter those um, services. So what we'll do is document dot query selector all and we'll do dot service wrapper and now we'll loop through them and add a event listener to them. So uh, services dot for each whoa whoa okay. I thought I had to sneeze. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, uh, okay, for each, and we are talking about the individual services. So, for each service, we want to run this function. And this function will take each service and add an event listener of mouse enter and it will just run this function and pass the event object like that. Uh, we'll need the event object to like um, so we can target the individual uh, services otherwise we'd um, have to create like separate animations for them um, the event uh, object is basically how the function knows which one it is that we are targeting which one of these three um, yeah we got that so we can write out our first animation very simple anime targets and the target will be a service dot a query selector and we'll select dot arrow dot arrow remember guys is our circle which will transition into the background and we'll uh, we are using uh, service dot query selector select oh I can't write selector like that um uh, targets is service dot query selector arrow um that's because when it loops through these services and it fires the animation we'll look into the individual surface uh, service that's uh, like folk or like that's being looped through at the moment and uh, we'll basically the l select the uh, the uh, circles individually that's kind of how it works <laughs> that's not the best explanation but yeah <laughs> and uh, yeah so for the animation we want to use ease out expo and oh that's a comma not a semicolon and we'll just scale it up to 30 and give it a duration of 
like no okay let's that should be okay without a duration so basically because it's a circle and when we'll scale it up large enough it will cover the background as you can see um, let's do that again and in and boom so that's the first part of the animation as you can see um, we got that now let's as you can see it only like grows whoa <laughs> yeah it only goes in one direction so it's scaling up but it's not scaling down again so let's do that next for that we'll need a another event listener and it's going to be service dot add event listener this time it's small sleeve of course separated by a comma we'll need the event object again to target the specific circle and we'll just write out our animation targets uh, same thing as before actually I can copy that whole thing right there yeah I don't know code pen always messes up the formation and indentation and stuff mm. the formatting not the formation <laughs> arrow yeah and scale back to one of course because we scale it up and we'll scale it down back to once to its original uh, uh, size again so two things we need to fix first of all it's kind of rather slow when it goes back right uh, we'll just say duration and set it to let's say 900 maybe that's okay Yeah, I think that's that's good. And uh, also, you can see that it kind of that animation flickers, and that always happens with AnimeJS if you like stop an animation before it ends. If we hover in and let it finish completely, and then we go out again it does not flicker but if we do that quickly it flickers as you can see finished and out no flicker just going in and out makes it flicker um, and we have to fix this by adding this instruction which is anime.remove and then in there you'll put the target selector this will kind of remove the uh, animation from the element and kind of causes it not to uh, f not to flicker. Same thing for this one. It took me quite some while to figure that out, but I now kind of implement it all the time when I'm working with AnimeJS. Um, what's going on now? Hello. alright alright <laughs> let's see um, let's take that out again okay yeah but Animate.remove Does that work? Yeah 
seems to work so now when I go in and out quickly it doesn't flicker anymore that's good and uh, now for the second animation we will animate the smaller circle um, that's also pretty similar can just paste that in there arrow small is the class we need to target that's this one and we'll scale it up to a 7 and we'll also change the duration to 1300 milliseconds so it's a little slower boom there we go but of course it's not scaling down so we gotta copy that put it in there scale it back down to 1 and we'll use let's use a duration of 900 on that one and make this one even faster let's see yeah that's cool nice but we of course still have the flickering kind of thing right and I don't know what's going on there whoa well probably that one will fix it anime.remove let's try it we need arrow small and same thing goes for mouse enter let's see if that works yep awesome then the next and basically final animation already would be the um, uh, SVG arrow as you can see it's like when you hover in it's going out and then back to its original position there and then it's going out again and back to its original position when hovering out that means um, we can probably do that best with a timeline uh, animate timeline we're writing anime.timeline and then we can like add separate animations in here which will be executed one after the other so targets targets plural and we'll just do service whoa uh, service hello service dot uh, query selector Um, SVG and that's to target the individual SVGs and we'll do a translate because it's moving right translate X uh, will be minus 25 pixels and translate y will be uh, 25 pixels um, yeah so it kind of moves uh, to the lower uh, left part of the rectangle in this direction basically like that um, and then we'll go on and add the easing ease out expo and you guys probably already noticed we are missing a there we go wait there's still something wrong
Oh yeah, right. Just leave those pixels away. And finally duration. Duration. 400 milliseconds should be fine. That's basically moving it down and then it has to come back up in one animation. So we'll uh, add a second animation which we can copy from here. Same target of course, but back to translate zero for X and Y, so it's back to its original position. Duration should be much longer, like 1700, because it's way slower on the way back, as you can see. Boom, boom. And uh, we'll also need some offset. Offset is basically a millisecond value which specifies um, how many milliseconds before the previous animation um, ends this animation should be fired. So that basically means uh, 100 milliseconds before this one is completed this one will start. Um, that will also give it this kind of boom boom effect. <laughs> the boom boom effect, right? <laughs> Uh, we are not seeing anything right now. Why is that? Let's see, let's see. Service.querySelector SVG Oops. Ease. Ease. Was that it? Yup. Awesome. So, as you can see, it's kind of going boom, boom. No, not really boom, boom. Mm hmm. Oh, of course. E7 out. Oh, didn't know about that easing function. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome. But we're still not finished because as you can see it's doing the boom boom again when we're hovering out. Boom boom and boom boom. So we'll basically just need to copy that thing and put it right there. Let it refresh. And boom. <laughs> We're done. Awesome. That's already all this to it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. This one was rather quick. Just wanted to show you. And yeah, I hope I can come up with a little bit bigger project for the next video. But um, for now, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!